So, I finally got my first Fortnite solo Victory Royale the other day after playing Fortnite Zero Build for the past several months and I thought I'd show you all the B-roll and share some commentary as to my overall thoughts and views regarding Fortnite as well as Epic. And I honestly never thought that I'd get into Fortnite, especially since I never cared for the, the building aspect of Fortnite. It was one of the major turnoffs for me in the early days. But I have played Fortnite technically before, back when Air Royale was kind of a thing. Riley, she really loves Air Royale whenever they do rotate it into the game every now and then. And she persuaded me to play Air Royale with her a few years ago. I was obviously the quote-unquote gunner on the back of the plane, and she was the one flying the plane because she loves flying planes, as some of you know. But it was okay. I had a much better experience than I thought I was going to have playing uh, Air Royale Fortnite. Plus, Riley is obviously a very, very good pilot. In case you're all wondering what I'm doing here, I'm uh, fighting other players and uh, trying to uh, wrap up the indie challenges. And I already have them done, by the way. So I managed to get everything taken care of for the Indiana Jones challenge. And I've been rocking Indiana Jones because I do like Indiana Jones. It's an awesome movie franchise with Harrison Ford. I don't know who I like him more as, Han Solo or Indy. Like, which one do you like more? Like Han Solo, Indiana Jones, or another character that's been played by Harrison Ford? Yeah, I know in real life he's kind of an a-hole, but I do enjoy some of his characters. But yeah, I've been rocking uh, this uh, Indiana Jones outfit for quite a few days now. I do switch back to a, a couple of other skins. It's hard to believe I've actually purchased some skins. When Kane and Riley talked me into trying out Fortnite Zero build, I swore never to buy a single Fortnite skin. I was just going to be cheap. But, well, eventually I, I kind of gave in. <laughs> And I haven't bought like a ton of skins, but I've bought some that I happen to find in the item shop that I like. And I've also been uh, doing the uh, battle passes. I did the previous season's battle pass, and I've already maxed out the main part of the current battle pass. I'm doing the uh, bonus pages right now. And uh, yeah, it's just crazy to look how far I've come playing this game from <laughs> the very first time. I played uh, Fortnite Zero Build of Kane and Riley to when I accidentally uh, threw a fire bottle because I thought it was like a, another like shield like item because it was blue. I've learned a lot since uh, the first days of Fortnite Zero Build. And uh, I've had a great time playing with Riley, Kane, Red, as well as a, a few others. And uh, yeah, so one thing that I do like about this game is the fact that they continue to add challenges, weekly challenges, daily challenges, milestones, as well as, as I've already mentioned, uh, the indie challenges as a uh, bonus content for everybody that uh, has the battle pass. And uh, they also had some free stuff, like free challenges you could do as well. Uh, a couple weeks ago, they had the Island Hopper challenge where you would go and play some uh, creative modes that were made by people within the Fortnite community. And some of them were okay, some of them were nightmare fuel, especially the one where Red, Riley, and me were, were basically on top of these uh, platform and we were Minecrafting in Fortnite. It was, I think it was made by uh, somebody from Asia, and I guess it's a popular mode in Asia, this particular mode. I forgot what it was called, it was really weird because you had to like harvest a certain amount of uh, materials like wood, brick, uh, steel. I think it was like 3,000 in order to get that challenge complete. And then there was one where you had to get in, uh, the whiplashes, which are the sports cars in the game, over these like colored tiles. And uh, we found out there was like some sub games within that game. Uh, one where you could go into this concert room and like hit these music notes and it would give you additional XP. And then there was one called Pro Fishing that would give you like a ton of XP for catching fish as well as selling the fish and I exploited the hell out of that. I made a lot of XP doing the pro fishing. <laughs> so that definitely helped me with the uh, battle pass. But I love how everything is connected to the battle pass, including uh, Save the World. And yeah, I do have Save the World. And I earned up to, what, 1,500 V-Bucks uh, doing Save the World because I bought one of the uh, bundles. 
Now I'm just using it to earn additional XP for the uh, battle pass whenever Riley, Red, and me want to play Save the World. They have, uh, I think they have the Founders Pack. I think Kane has it as well, along with Tay Daniel. So those of you that were smart enough to uh, get the Founders Edition of Save the World many years ago, uh, good for you, because you can get all the V-Bucks you want in life and never have to spend real money on V-Bucks. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. And that's another thing. Speaking of Save the World, I know I'm being random here when I'm talking about uh, things I really, really appreciate when it comes to Epic. Save the World. Like, this was, like, this is obviously not Save the World. This is uh, Zero Build Solos. And uh, with Save the World, it was like their original game. And uh, the Fortnite aspect, the Battle Royale, was just like a side thing that just blew up and became extremely popular. And that became the main game. And Save the World became kind of like a side thing, but Epic, to their credit, has kept Save the World around. They didn't scrap it. They didn't abandon it like uh, Rockstar did Red Dead Online, for example. They just kept it around, and they also made it another way for players to earn XP through the Battle Pass. And most recently, they actually did something I was going to make an ideas video for, because I've been playing a bit of Save the World, as I've mentioned, and I've noticed some differences between Save the World and the, the current version of Battle of uh, Mina, the Battle Royale of Fortnite. Specifically, the ability to slide, to sprint, to parkour, to crouch. Those things we weren't able to do in Save the World. And I was going to make an ideas video how Epic should do that and maybe improve the uh, UI. And I think they still could improve the UI and Save the World. However, credit where credit is due to Epic most recently, they actually went in and they updated characters' abilities to do those things. To run, to, to sprint, to crouch, to slide, and even parkour. Which makes Save the World even better, in my honest opinion. So, props to Epic once again. They've done a lot for live service gaming. Including constantly updating Fortnite, as well as two other games I play. Rocket League. I haven't really played as much Rocket League as I once did. And I just got a challenge done. So yeah, I've been trying to get through all these challenges, and actually, in uh, hindsight, I am done with all the challenges, finally. But during this gameplay, I was working on the Indiana Jones challenges, obviously. So yeah, I do appreciate Epic. I mean, Rocket League was a fun game. Maybe eventually Riley Red and I will get back into Rocket League. And Fall Guys is now free to play. Uh, my friend Yuji Outlaw and a few others, Kane. Red myself, we enjoy playing Fall Guys here and there, casually. Not really hardcore, but they did do a challenge with Fall Guys recently, which allowed you to earn some stuff for not only Rocket League, but also for Fortnite as well, this uh, pancake guy. And I managed to, to get that taken care of, so that was pretty cool. I was happy about getting those challenges done. And they also have, the, like I mentioned, with the daily challenges, weekly challenges. Another uh, set of challenges that they're doing is the vibing challenges. And Riley and I have been doing a lot of that on the side. She likes the lore aspect of Fortnite. And I've watched quite a few Fortnite videos regarding the lore, the lore, as we're going to try and run down this witch, see if I can get her. But at the end of the day, like, I care about the XP because, once again, I'm just trying to work my way through the bonus pages of the battle pass as this uh, shooting fest goes on. And I gotta give props to Epics once again. Their ability to have a, a PvP game that's much better than freaking GTA or Red Dead. Rockstar is terrible at PvP. They're terrible at live service. I'm not here just to shit on uh, Rockstar, by the way. I'm here to mostly praise on Epic. But the gunplay is surprisingly good in uh, these games, specifically Fortnite. And one thing I really do appreciate is they're constantly updating this game with chapters, seasons, events. And they're also going in and communicating with their fans, something that Rockstar could do more on the social media. Fortnite has several official Twitter pages. Each one specifically does something. And they're constantly communicating with their fans about things. And they're fixing things all the time. Anytime there's an issue in this game, they're fixing it. Like there's a few cosmetic harvesting tools are back blings that had issues and they vaulted them temporarily they told people about it and they fixed it within a few days or a week or so they actually fixed issues and they're constantly like rotating weapons in and out of the game vaulting weapons bringing in new weapons buffing and nerfing weapons 
And that's amazing. That, that impresses me a great deal that Epic actually puts forth all this effort for not just Fortnite, but also Rocket League as well as Fall Guys. And that, that's really, really cool. I really do appreciate all the work they do when it comes to these games. And I know that there's Epic fans that are not as appreciative as I got that uh, Port of Fort ready to go. And you know what's weird? Even though I'm not really a fan of the Port of Forts in Zero Build, I don't think they should be in Zero Build, the, having the Port of Fort here actually helped me get my uh, Victory Royale. So credit where credit is due when it comes to the freaking Port of Fort. But uh, what else can I talk about as uh, we get a little bit more intense? There's now two left, me and one more, one more foe. And I'm just looking around er everywhere trying to find the last player because there's only one left. It's me and them. And yeah, I've, I've gotten close to solo victory royales a few times, but usually ended up in like second or third place. And a lot of my victory royales are, are because of playing duos with Riley or trios with Red and Riley or squads with Red, Riley, and Kane. That's where all my other victory royales come from. And, and I have helped out. I have gotten a few kills here and there. But the, the truth is uh, a lot of it was Riley and a bit was Red and some of it was Kane. And every now and then I, I, I would get a kill here and there and I would actually help out and I would, I would make a difference. I think I have gotten better at this game than I used to be, but uh, yeah, I, I still got a ways to go. I, I don't think I'm ever going to be like a pro uh, Fortnite player. I'm never going to do any of the, the cups or the like the hardcore events. I did do the uh, PlayStation Club last month, and I got a pretty sweet uh, weapon wrap for it, and I was telling Riley and, and Red and a few others that they should do the PlayStation Cup as well a month ago, and they didn't do it, and so I'm the only one that got that weapon skin. They were all jealous. I was like, yeah, look at me. I was in the PlayStation Cup. <laughs> of course, the minimum was like eight points. And I ended up with like, after what, three matches, I ended up with like 44 points. So it really wasn't that difficult at all to get it. So, yeah, I mean, I really do enjoy playing 490 build. I never thought I would say that because I, I don't care for the building aspect. I still don't even know where we play uh, Save the World. And uh, I, I really wish I could get additional V-Bucks, but it is what it is. And I, I honestly hope that eventually we see uh, more from Epic. I, you know what I really want? I really want them to do a version of GTA, like their own game, their answer to GTA. I would love that, like their own open world game with Unreal Engine 5. And I, I think that Rockstar really needs some legit competition in that regard because they've become rather lazy and they're not the best at live service. I know I've mentioned that before in the past, whereas Epic is pretty good. They have handled like three games, three total games. They do live service all the freaking time. And that, that's a pretty big deal because Rockstar can barely do live service for, for one game, one, maybe two updates a year where Epic is constantly putting out like uh, seasons, uh, chapters, weekly events as I'm trying to shoot this bush. Cause I'm trying to find where this last guy is. And uh, like, as you can tell, the, the circle has gotten very, very small here, extremely small. And honestly, I have no idea where this guy is. So I'm, I'm very nervous here because I'm, I'm hoping that I'm going to actually get a victory royale. I'm, I'm just thinking about where I was at this moment in the game. And whenever I was doing the indie challenges, hopping into uh, solos, I wasn't trying to get a, a victory royale here. I was just trying to get through the indie challenges. It just, fate just smiled upon me and I ended up in this moment, right? And it, it's quite amazing, the feeling of actually getting your first solo victory royale because it was all you, right? I mean, a lot of things went to your advantage. The fact that you weren't killed early on, you landed in the right spot, no, no one's in the bush apparently. But yeah, this this is just more intense than, than I realized. I was like, wow, there he is. Kill him, kill the bastard. Okay, and he's almost dead. Hey, don't shoot my pig, you asshole. You, there. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, so there you go. My very first Victor Royale in 490 build. Absolutely love playing 490 build. It's amazing. Your thoughts, your views, and opinions regarding 490 build and Fortnite in general. What you like about it, what you don't like about it. Feel free and uh, let me know below in the comments section.